So today is a pretty crummy day and I thought I would brighten it a little with some cupcakes. I know that cupcakes are basically overpriced miniature cakes, but still people are obsessed with them. I kind of am too. We'll see after I see how much I spend on them today, but I have a few places in mind. So let's do this guys. Five different places. So I asked each place what was their most popular flavor as well as what flavor they prefer themselves. And so yeah, we're just gonna see how this goes. If you didn't know this, they make even smaller cupcakes, which I have no idea why you would want to make cupcakes smaller than they already are. But we're not gonna get into that. But first, Saint Cupcake. So let's try the toasted coconut one first. Mmm! The frosting is super buttery. It's not too sweet, it's just very buttery. Mmm. This is their salty caramel one. Frosting is melt in your mouth, buttery, just like the coconut one. Let's try the cake. Okay, it's chocolatey. It's pretty deep, dark chocolatey. Let's move on to toadstool cupcakes. I already like this better than Saint Cupcake. The chocolate is more moist. The ganache just melts in your mouth. The filling is just tastes like coconut. Very good. Okay, let's get into the confetti one. I'm super excited about this because I love funfetti everything. Mm. 
It's so good, so good. Has that nice, subtle almond flavor to it. So this is Hungry Heart Bakery. bits of toffee bacon in the cake because I got some crunch. The frosting is super good. It's got the salt, the flaked salt on the top. Mmm, that really brings out the flavor of the frosting. This is like one of the popular flavors, one of their award-winning flavors, I guess. Ooh, that's good. Surprisingly, the bacon was still crispy. Chocolate cake itself is okay, still not as moist as toadstool. I'm surprised by how much I love the bacon. The bacon with the peanut butter frosting, that's a great combo. Next up is sugar cubed. So let's try this more one first. The chocolate cake is chocolatey, but in a different way. Not a dark chocolatey way. Good, not the best though. Mmm, so far I like that caramel frosting the best. I love the frosting, this is my favorite frosting so far. Moving on to our final place, Fat Cupcake, which is in Happy Valley. First, let's try the Pretty and Pink one. One of my favorite movies, all right. Okay. It's a more pillowy texture. It's moist, but more pillow. Frosting is really buttery, and it's got the tiniest bit of filling. Super tiny. Okay, okay. It's got kind of a butterscotchy flavor. Last place. Fat cupcake. Yeah, it just weren't as moist. Sugar cubed is fourth place. It was alright. It just wasn't as melt in your mouth. I did really like their toffee flavor, but the s'more uh -uh. Saint Cupcake is third place. It was good. They had really good buttery frosting, but I I think I prefer sweeter over buttery. Second place goes to Hungry Heart Bakery. Really, really liked their bacon and the peanut butter frosting. That was an amazing combo. So first place obviously goes to Stool Cupcakes. Good flavors. I love the confetti. I loved the coconut. Not only do their cupcakes look really cute, but they're really moist and flavorful. Let me know of any cupcake places that you recommend, that you've been to, that you love. I'll see you next time. These mini, mini cupcakes, like if you think about it, it's only a tablespoon of batter and about a tablespoon of frosting. You guys, these cupcake places are making bank. I spent like 20 bucks on this and this isn't even a full dozen. So there you go. There's my little rant about cupcakes.